Madrugão Suplementos, a maior loja de suplementos do Brasil. Cupom MN. What's up, guys? So I just wanted to come on here and give everybody a little background as to what's been going on with all this craziness. So uh, a few days ago, we were on the Foo Ads podcast and discussing who we thought was the next big thing in the classic physique division. Um, someone mentioned Ramon. I disagreed I, that I thought Urs was a more promising prospect in terms of being the next top guy or someone to challenge for the title or, you know, take the title after Chris is retired or anything of that matter. Um, and that I said I preferred his shape. And then I also said that I believed it was relatively close between uh, Ramon and the guy who placed second to him at the show he just recently won in Rio. Um, that was it. So nothing personal, nothing disrespectful against Ramon. Um, you know, I think he's an amazing class physique competitor. Obviously, he placed fifth in his first Olympia. Uh, my opinion was just that I thought Urs was better as he placed fourth in his first Olympia. Um, and he's, you know, younger, younger than Ramon. So... Literally all I said, nothing personal, nothing disrespectful towards Ramon whatsoever. As I said, I think he's an amazing competitor. I just think Urs is more promising. So, um, you know, everyone's welcome to their opinion. If you disagree with me, great. I mean, you know, I'd be happy to have the debate with anyone in, in a civil, you know, a civil manner. I mean, and even I've had a few people message me that obviously didn't hear or didn't understand my comments um, because of the language barrier and we were able to, you know, discuss it and they were able to get a clearing. So, You know, I think that's the, the biggest issue here is maybe the language barrier um, and a bit of telephone tag after that. I think some people just heard down the line that Ian talked shit about Ramon, which is clearly not the case whatsoever. So, um, you know, I'd say I learned my lesson, but I honestly don't think I did anything wrong whatsoever. Um, I don't apologize for my comments. You know, I think I was warranted in, in giving my opinion on a show where we give opinions all the time. Um, so, yeah, after the fact there, I got, you know, hundreds of comments, hundreds of DMs you know, ranging from dinosaurs to fucking death threats. Um, so I posted two memes that I thought were pretty light and harmless. I mean, one was a, a comet or an asteroid, I guess, that was labeled C-bum. And then the other one was, you know, hitting a dinosaur, which was Ramon. Obviously, they're all calling him Dino. Um, and then the other one was just the shocked face of the the, the young dinosaur from Land Before Time. So, uh, yeah, okay, maybe I shouldn't have posted those. I don't know. But, I mean, after, after that, in my opinion, it was free, you know, fair game. Um, you know, I've been barraged with hundreds of comments, um, hundreds of DMs, you know, that were wild and disrespectful, um, you know, so if there's anything I apologize for, I guess it's posting those because those were, you know, picking fun a bit at Ramon, who actually didn't have anything to do with this. It was his fans and I guess some of these media outlet pages. So um, I did take those down because I th thought they were, you know, just unnecessary. Um, but my comments that originated from And the comments that started all of this on Fuad's podcast, I don't apologize for whatsoever. I think I was respectful, um, and I don't think I was off base or unwarranted in my opinion whatsoever. Um, you know, and if you're a fan of Ramon, I don't think coming onto my wall um, and harassing me or sending me death threats, um, you know, telling me to, you know, fucking die or that you're going to use my head as a soccer ball or fuck you or any of these things is supporting your athlete even in the slightest. Um, you know, I'm going to assume that Ramon doesn't condone these actions. Um, as I certainly wouldn't if my fan base was doing this to another bodybuilder who just gave their opinion. And if you're one of the you know people that sent me a death threat or you know messaged me saying fuck you or fucking kill yourself or go fucking die, um, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. I mean, this is not you know how you act as a response to someone giving their opinion. Um, that's just lunatic behavior. I mean, that's not supporting your athlete. That's just being fucking crazy. Um, so cut that shit out. I mean, I don't want to see that shit on my page. I mean, I don't think that's how you should you know, treat any human being whatsoever, you know, especially someone that just gave a simple opinion. So, um, you know, it's a uh, crazy, crazy world we're living in, guys. Esse próximo bandão vai amassar esse gringo. Então, muitas pessoas já falando que já tem uma rivalidade entre ele e o Brandão. Vamos ver se o cara aceita o convite. Acho que o Tamer vai convidar ele para com competir no Expo Super Show. E aí vamos ver se ele aceita o convite em público. Entendeu? Se ele aceitar em público, ele não pode retornar mais. Ele tem que aceitar. Entendeu? Ah, pra mim, o cara não falou nada demais. Só foi provocativo. Pergunta por que ele não vê o Ramon com o shape clássico. Por que ele ganhou falando... O que que ele, por que, o que que ele ganhou falando do Ramon? E, então, eu, na verdade, nem consegui ver exatamente o vídeo todo do podcast. Mas, logicamente... Uh, eu acho que ele falou que 
o campeonato foi muito apertado entre o Ramon e o Zancanelli, que todo mundo viu. Inclusive, até o Ramon, a gente fez uma live, ele admitiu que o Zancanelli estava no melhor shape. E o Zancanelli está subindo, então isso não é surpresa para ninguém. E talvez ele falou que o Sibam não vai perder para ninguém. Que, logicamente, o cara é o técnico, o coach do Sibam, entendeu? Então, eu, eu acho que é natural. Então... Quero ver exatamente o que ele falou, ver se tem uma treta, se tiver alguma treta a gente acirra e põe na linha aí. Ele fez um story zombando o Ramon. Sim, eu vi ele, um dinossauro, e aí tinha um, um meteoro com o nome de Sibam. Achei ah, bem legal isso, para ser sincero. É uma provocação, mas como a gente sabe, o nosso esporte ah, precisa dessas provocações, né? Por isso que o UFC é tão grande. E a gente faz isso direto, entendeu? Se o cara tá chamando o dinossauro, o Ramon, pra porrada, e o Ramon que vá pra porrada. Isso só, só dá mais motivação, só dá mais motivação pro Ramon treinar melhor, mais, pro Chris Bumstead treinar mais, entendeu? Então isso vai ser bem legal. Ele está assaltado com a torcida brasileira. Meu amigo, Célio Nascimento, meu amigo, até eu, quando tô arbitrando, fico assustado com a torcida brasileira. Se você tivesse no Expo Super Show, quando o Zancanelli, quando o Ramon, quando a Ângela, quando a Franciele entraram no palco, eu já estive na Gaviões de, da Fiel nos anos 90. A emoção, o amor que os fãs têm por esses atletas é insano.